Hello friends. Today I am going to uh, explain you regarding SQL trace in SAP. The transaction used for tracing the SQL queries in SAP is ST05. So please go to the transaction screen and type ST05. So this is the main screen uh, where we can see where we can activate the SQL trace. Uh, there are other different types of traces like RFC trace, NQ trace, buffer trace. So initially all the traces are switched off. So I would like to activate the SQL trace. Uh, we can even do it for a particular filter by applying a filter like username or a particular transaction. So we would have to give the username here and the transaction which I am using. So the transaction which I am currently using is a customized transaction ZD16. So I would uh, give the transaction name and activate the trace. So I, you can see the skill trace is switched on now for the user. PRA BP8. Now let us go to a new session where we are going to use that particular transaction that is ZD16 transaction. It is a customized transaction for SC11 transaction in which we are going to query a table in SAP. So I have a table here uh, named ZPRAR underscore EXT batch number. So where I'm going to provide the selection screen inputs for the table. Uh, so I'm the accounting period. And process type, different fields I'm going to uh, put here. And I'm going to limit the number of entries to 100. And I'm going to see how much time it is taking to actually uh, query this table for the given inputs. Sorry. Uh, so I would just do a number of entries on this and I see there are only 13 entries and then I would execute this to see the records and then I would go back. So in order to see the SQL trace of this particular fetch of records, go back to the SQL trace screen and now you can switch off the trace, deactivate the trace before you can display the trace. So when you deactivate the trace, it, uh, a log is created in which we can uh, find all the SQL, SQL uh, entries with the timings. Deactivate the trace. And I'm, now I'm going to click on the display trace button. So it would ask you the date and the time during which you have executed or uh, do, do, uh, at which you want to see the SQL trace. So I have given the username, same username and SQL trace and I am going to display it now. So this is where you can see uh, the list of, uh, it is a log. So it is a performance trace. You can uh, actually analyze, the, use this to analyze the performance of a given query. How much time it is taking to exactly fetch the details, details from that. So as you can see here, uh, so it is a opening the table. It is using account star. I did a select star. When uh, how many counts are there in the table? You can see the time which it took to actually execute this query. So it took uh, around the object name, it took around, uh, you can see here, the duration. It's a fraction of seconds actually. So uh, this is now actually used for analyzing and uh, the performance of any SQL queries in report programming in ABAP. If you like this video, please share it. Thank you.